Even though the 479th Flying Training Group fully departed from Moody Air Force Base after their inactivation ceremony June 21st, their legacy will live on through the thousands of pilots who received training from the unit. The unit grew its roots in World War II as the 479th Fighter Group was activated October 15, 1943 by the Army Air Corps to provide support for daylight bombing of German targets by the 8th Bomber Command. The group was inactivated in 1945, but reactivated again in 1952. The group's recent squadrons had a role in many major U.S. conflicts, from the Korean and Vietnam War to the Cuban Missile Crisis, before switching over to training functions. The 479th Flying Training Group first arrived at Moody in July 2000 and specialized in both introduction to fighter fundamentals with the T-38C Talon and joint student undergraduate pilot training with the T-6A Texan II. The group most recently included the Reserve Component 39th Flying Training Squadron, 3rd Flying Training Squadron, and 49th and 435th Fighter Training Squadrons. The 479th Operation Support Squadron was also in place to sustain support elements of the pilot training mission. Colonel Richard Turner, the 479th Flying Training Group Commander, is the one responsible for overseeing the monumental task of transitioning the squadrons under the 479th Flying Training Group from Moody to other bases throughout the Air Force. About two years ago when we heard about BRAC, there was a lot of ideas out there. Uh, you know, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Can we even do our mission? And uh, we set the goal, I, I challenged, or set the challenge saying, hey, we're going to do this and we're going to provide the best training, not only to the students we have now, but to that last student that leaves. And all the airmen of the 479th put their nose to the grindstone and we did it. And we, that last student that walked out of here was trained as well as the, the students that we had at the time when BRAC was released. The 479th Flying Training Group started its closures with the 3rd Flying Training Squadron, which had wrapped up its operations on April 25, 2007. The closures represent the ending of an era at Moody, which has supported pilot training since the opening of a pilot training school in 1942. Colonel Turner reflects on his command, but is saddened that he will not be allowed to hand his command over to someone else. You, know, you, you never want to give up command, uh, even if you've been there for two years. Um, but the, at the same time, you don't really want your command to go away. You'd like to leave a legacy if you can. You'd like to uh, leave a unit that's going strong and that's going to continue to move on strong for the next commander. All 479th Flying Training Group assets will or already have moved to Air Education and Training Command bases, where pilot training is now consolidated. This transition is part of the 2005 Base Realignment and Closure decision designed to make the use of military assets more efficient